Hey guys, it's MazeMan112, and today I'm bringing you guys a super quick tips and tricks for Call of Duty Warzone. We're going to go over our settings in it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to do this quick. First thing we got here is button layout. I highly recommend tactical. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to because it's going to change how you crouch versus how you melee. Uh, some people will struggle with this in the beginning. Highly recommend this is how you get those great jump shots as well as those drop shots. Dead zone. This is one of the things that's highly debate, debated on where it should be. Out of the box, it's going to come at a .10. I highly recommend it having this down between a .03 and a .05. As you can see, I'm rocking a .05. Horizontal stick sensitivity. This is something you're going to see a lot of people have it cranked way up. And they're trying to get spins, not wins. When you look at the pros, the pros are playing anywhere from 5 up to somewhere at 8-ish or so. Um, again, this is going to help you be more consistent with your aiming and actually get those bullets on target. Going down here to the ADS sensitivity, this is a huge one right here. So with your ADS sensitivity, it's going to be factory is 1.0. I recommend bringing it down anywhere. I've seen as low as a 0.65 to 0.95. What it's going to do is it's going to help you uh, either increase or decrease that sweep speed that you have with your muzzle when you're shooting on someone. Best way to know whether or not you need to increase or decrease the speed is when you are shooting on someone who is running. And when you're shooting on them, are you consistently, are your bullets keep hitting behind them? You just can't catch up to them. If you can't catch up to them, you need to increase this ADS sensitivity. If you're shooting and you're all over them, you're peppering them, you have what I, we call potato aim, you're all over the place, you need to bring this down. This will help you have more consistent shots. Uh, going down here, I do not use uh, standard aim assist. Going down everything else. The other big thing is contextual tap. Make sure you do this one. This is going to make you much faster with your looting, much faster picking up weapons, and being able to engage in those gunfights. It does take a little bit of use, getting used to, uh, so that way you're not picking up random weapons or you're not jumping out of vehicles when you try to reload. Get a little bit used to that from that standpoint, but it is going to make you a much faster Call of Duty player. And if you're on a console, this is going to help you uh, really accelerate the pace that you're able to go ahead and grab everything that you need. Uh, looking at the movement, I keep the slide here as, as tap. Uh, moving forward, I have that disabled. Automatic sprint, I recommend turning this on. Again, I'm all about speed. How can we be as fast as moving as possible? This is going to help that, help you get to where you need to be. Uh, go ahead, looking at the general one. This is a dark game. Turn that brightness up so you can see my brightness, what should be barely visible, I have very visible uh, for me. That way they go ahead and distinguish. Maybe it's because I'm getting a little bit older. My eyes are not what they used to be. I need to have a uh, a quick noticeable difference between whether or not that is a bad guy or just a bush because if not they shoot me I'm dead I'm mad all that kind of fun stuff film grain I turn that all the way down that's just going to go ahead and cause some extra issues colorblind type some people do like to go ahead and work this in between the trinopia and the deuteropia deuteropia whatever uh, but with those ones they're just a little bit too uh, cartoony for me uh, but do what, what your eyes look for play around with those settings to see what you get to, cap, uh, to pop out motion blur I turn motion blur off weapon blur I turn my weapon blur off I want everything to be nice and nice and crisp uh, looking at mini map this is a huge one here as well mini map circle versus square as you can see here on the screen there is a big noticeable difference between what you're able to see mini map rotation I have mine enabled I want it to rotate with me you can have this lock that way north is always north uh, going ahead and go through here nothing to worry about there audio play with your audio get to see what you want to, to yeah, that works with you. Make sure you can hear what's going on. Sound whoring is such an important thing in, in Warzone uh, that you need to make sure you can hear what's going on. What I'm going to do now is unplug my headset. And I'm going to plug in an extra keyboard that we have here because this is a big thing for us console players uh, that we struggle because we aren't able to have some of that customization that they are on the PC. So you see when I plug that in, it just gave me a brand new tab keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that tab um, and, and it's going to get me to this mouse and we're going to go over. We're not going to use the mouse. We have no intention of using the mouse. You can if you'd like, but I, I don't really recommend it. If you're going to use a keyboard and mouse, you might as well play on a, a PC because there are a lot of advantages as well as uh, field of view and stuff like that that you can't do on a console. But we're going to go over here to kill streaks and vehicles. This is a, the main thing that I love to do with this and a little bit of a hack on it. Go to armor plate behavior. Normally this is going to be apply one, so you've got to keep continue holding that button while you put in however many plates need to be applied. If you go ahead and put this in apply all, now you just hit that button once. Once it starts to applying one, let go of the button and it will continue to apply until you are completely full. Uh, when it, right now, even though it is a keyboard, once we remove this, it's going to keep this feature on for us 
after we go ahead and switch back to our controller. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and go through everything really quickly. Uh, there are some other customizations as far as uh, some things you can do with your vehicles. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is useful. Make sure you guys leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit subscribe and make sure you guys check out my Twitch channel, MazeMan112. I have been streaming a little bit more often. I'm trying to do it a couple times a week, two or three times a week. Uh, make sure you guys go and check that out. You guys have a good day. See you guys later.